www.hoodg.com. Okay, we got the God Cash crew necks, hoodies, hats. If you don't know where to go, you get them. www.hoodg.com. Go get you that God Cash gear, that brand new being gear. We got Rod Digger gear, all of that. Go to www.hoodg.com. www.hoodg.com. Mega food is the best. The heat is miracle food. It's the best for detoxing, cleansing, healing, removing inflammation, and boosting your immune system. It's suitable for all ages, and it helped me out tremendously during pregnancy. Allergen-free, gluten-free, 100% organic, all natural, and vegan. Miracle Food. And with that, we'll see you later. <laughs> I'm looking like Sonic the Hedgehog. What's going on? <laughs> I, I mean, I see what you're doing these days. You got the um, you got the dread. Gumby type of deal going on. You know, because it's because it's like it's one of those things where you, it's one of those it's things like where the you, wind was hitting you from the yeah. I always want to look like I'm running fast. Uh, yeah, yeah, but but yeah, <laughs> like the wind is hitting you from the east. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You know, it's all about movement and speed. Oh, but, man. Um, yeah, you know what it's like to have long drive. I never, I, my thing is, it's one of those things where I'm not really trying to make it go, you know, I'm just kind of cutting it, just keeping it like this. It's, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I just keep okay. the sides faded. So in case, let's say they say, hey, could you shave it off? I won't feel that bad. I'll go, yeah. Right. Like, fuck it. I'm not yeah, that yeah, I, to Sometimes it. I just like kind of slick it down and try to look uh, Sicilian. <laughs> Go, hey, hey, yeah, I'm a little darker. What are you talking about? What do you want me to do? Sort of mafia. Italians hey, look, hey, you know I mean? A little fucking, a little moly, you fucking eggplant. We, we never did a fucking black Italian skit. You know this. Oh, right? no, we got to do one. We got to fucking... fucking do one. I'm telling hey, you. Maybe we, we do one right now. We just recorded right now. How about that? Hey, I don't know. Hey. I mean, I, hey. I I really want that though on the fucking you know sweatsuits and really. Oh no, we gotta get some fucking sweatsuits. You get some go to a fucking restaurant. I, you know, I want to fucking really shoot a fucking I, thing. That would be the, That would be nice. Nice little sweat. Fucking nice velour. Yeah, fucking, nice fucking, fucking velours. Yeah, Adidas, like with a fucking you know gold chains and nice shit chain, gold. like herringbone, some <laughs> herringbone. Come on, the way the movies do it. Those airplanes do it. Fucking just dress like them because we always do. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Why the fuck? But that um, that Joe Brown joint. <laughs> did you did you did you see some of the Joe Brown interview? Yeah, <laughs> he's like, there's some, you know, these uh, piss ant type people. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's the manhood that they're trying to destroy. See. That's what's happening. He'll do this. And that's what's happening. They trying to destroy manhood. And the problem is, is that that's, it. that's what society's trying to do. They take these uh, black men and they give them this apparatus to put up their ass so that they can get softer. So basically, they get a nice little, one of those little sexual apparatuses, and then they grease their little anus and put their ass in it and start spinning on it like a goddamn sort of like a god damn <laughs> merry go round. <laughs> so what we got here is a case of a bunch of sissified Negroes walking around here with their skirts because as a little boy, they like to try to put a lot of things in the little boy's head and you got to be careful not to do that. And then right now they're trying to sissify a lot of these little boys and when they grow up, they walk around skipping down the street. See, I didn't skip down the street. I walked <laughs> like a man down the street. You got all these little boys licking big lollipops and shit like that. You know what I mean? They don't bite I'm their curly lollipops. Looking See, like a real man bites his, a real man doesn't lick his lollipop all the way down. He bites it eventually. But see, these boys want to lick it all the way down to the stick. See, I'm not that dude. If I raise my kids, I say, if you ever have a lollipop, you better bite it at some point. <laughs> Keep your manhood. 
because I don't want you licking no lollipop in public all the way down to the nose. You understand me? So we got a lot of sucker Negroes walking around Ooh, here. I've been in this MC. business for a long time, been a judge for a long time, and people can't tell me shit. I know exactly what's happening. It's an agenda. And a lot of these pissant fucks that are walking around here trying to change and destroy the black male uh, uh, manhood, I'm here to put a stop to that. Keep Not on my watch. Keep I'm tired of these moist booty ass Negroes. Moist booty is what we say. There's a lot of moisture going on in you. There's a precipitation in your asshole right now. And I'm here to make it. You need to oh. take a blow dryer and blow it dry and act like <laughs> you your pants up. Because I'm getting tired and I'm getting sick of all this crap that they're oh, trying to yeah. barrage us with. You understand? Oh, I got a hiccup. Okay. I know people think I'm drunk, but I fucking swallowed my coffee a little too fast. And now they're going to say he's a goddamn drunk. Well, I'm, even if I'm drunk, I'm the smartest man in the goddamn room. And plus, if you drink mm. alcohol, alcohol gives you, makes you tell the truth. And you know, I'm a truth telling son of a bitch. Okay. All right. And just like I said, when Dowdy Cosby's free, people are sitting up there trying to say, well, what did he do it? First of all, you have to be proven innocent, being guilty to him <laughs> when you're innocent. All right. Everybody back in the 60s was, was fucking and sucking and doing all kind of shit, put, eating quaaludes and cocaine. A lot of these girls were straight whores, straight <laughs> up whores selling their ass because they wanted to make it. And Fact. when they didn't get what they wanted to get, after Cosby put his dick in the pudding, <laughs> don't mean to say, don't mean to say that. That's pretty hilarious. I'm funny myself. But uh, once once Cosby put his dick in the pudding, all of a sudden everybody gets upset because they don't get to a certain point. I'm not saying that shit didn't occur, but let's be real. A lot of these accusations are very questionable under judiciary law, and I'm a judge, and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You understand? There's a lot of a lot of these women trying to take down a lot of us black men. And also you got these black men, these moist booty niggas trying to take down black men. So it's sort of an attack on the black man and in manhood. And we need to get these son of a bitches to pull up their pants. These mumbling son of a bitch rappers, little baby, dub babies, a lot of fucking babies out here. When is there going to be a rapper called a man? How about that? <laughs> well, um, thank you, Judge Brown. Uh, <laughs> Not a problem. You we know appreciate you. Now, now, um, I hate to cut you off, but um, on the line, it seems that um, Kwame Brown is, has now called in to the Godcast. Well, Kwame um, Brown, yeah, I've been on this show plenty of times. I love what Kwame Brown is doing. Kwame Brown is actually a wonderful person, a good athlete, and he's just all he was minding his own business, and all of a sudden, a lot of these uh, ESPN Stephen A. Coon Smith decided, you know, to start calling him out. And Kwame Brown was minding his own business, you know, that's just waking up a sleeping lion, and now the lion is starting to roar. Now, everybody well, you said wants that you were going to start from working with Kwame when you was on the show. What, what'd you say? Well, you th you said last time when you was on the show a couple of days ago, you said that you was going to be working with Kwame. Yeah, I'm working with him, and it's have I'm we're having a ball. We're just spitting the truth, called smoking people out their holes. Matt Barnes, uh, pretty boy with the good hair, or whatever Kwame says. We're trying to call all these brothers out because you're sitting up there dogging another black man that had nothing to do with you. But you want to talk about his basketball career, but uh, Stephen A. Smith, you're a failed high school basketball player, and you have the nerve to try to talk about someone's career. Kwame was in the bit was in the NBA twelve years, made over sixty million dollars. That's not a failure to me. That's success. See, we have Apparently. to stop measuring success by other people's success. See, Stephen A. Smith, you're successful at bullshit. See. You're successful at coonery. That's what you're good at. See, well, you're apparently I'm, I'm cool. hearing that Kwame is in is in the uh, room with you. Could you go get him, please? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm gonna give you that mama's cooking. See, <laughs> could you go I get him? Stephen A. Smith's bitch ass. <laughs> I told Stephen A. Smith's bitch ass not to fuck with mama's mama's son. See, I'm a geeky nigga. See, you don't understand. You know, I mean, what, what, 
What the fuck is he talking about? Talking about my success. Man, I was 12 years in the NBA, made over $60 million. Boy, I got my own land, nigga. But you, Stephen A. Smith, with your motherfucking hairline, <laughs> shit. The only, yeah, just like his career, shit is receding. See, Stephen A. Smith, you know, he want, he want, he want the white daddy. He's, he want to satisfy his white daddy. But he don't know I'm giving that mama's cooking. <laughs> See, when I give him that mama's cooking, pretty, you know, pretty Becky with the good hair, mama's cooking, boys for all them niggas. You fucking with the wrong one, boy. I'm seven feet. I ain't five seven, boy. I come up there and run an ESPN. I'll put my foot in your ass. That's real tough. See, you got ESPN. I got ESP because I can tell you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Kwame Brown always keeps it real. That's what I want to <laughs> say. He keeps it real as hell. That's why I fuck with Kwame Brown. Get down. See, we the Brown brothers. There's Joe Brown and Kwame Brown. Okay. We gonna keep it Brown. That's how we get down. I'm not a rapper, but I'm pretty good at putting words together because I went to UCLA Law School. And when you're in law, you got to know what the fuck you're talking about. And this ain't no mumble -mum 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 rap. <laughs> 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 oh man, you's a fucking fool, man. You's a fucking fool. <laughs>